Well, hello. It is Monday, May 16th, and that means two things. When I started podcasting, I had to explain to people that uh, you did not need an iPod to listen. And then last week, uh, Apple announced that the last iPod would be made. There would be no more iPods. Plenty of phones, plenty of tablets, but no pods. And I am there is a melancholy in that. It's also time for the Lighting Industry News Brief, brought to you by Keystone Technologies. And this time around, we are talking about, you know what we're talking about? We are talking about a vapor tide fixture. It lasts a long time. It saves energy. It handles rugged applications. It's rated for IP65. It's got impact-resistant polycarbonate lenses. And power select, color select. Save some skews, save some space, offer what people want. That's keystonetech.com or the link down in the description. Getting into the news, however, Delta has bought four lighting brands. This is a Belgian company buying Lambit, the parent company of LF, Delray, VLT, and Softform. There's an executive shuffle on that side to make things match after the merger. AMS Osram is so in Traxon. We have Chorus Lighting buying Zerklight. Uh, this is for security and tech. Uh, the Zerklight CEO will stay on as chief medical officer. Chinese trade is still slow. Uh, growth down in exports compared to last month. Sonpar has bought Majorano. This is an Italian distributor falling under their regional office. Lutron will be increasing prices across the board. The average price increase will be 8%, and that will go into effect on the 10th of June. Energy Focus reports $2.8 million in losses uh, as part of their Q1 review. ELP and Flip have partnered on a new end-of-life distribution deal for obsolete gear. Uh, Osram has reported on their Q1 with revenues up by 1.2 million euro. Uh, Wesco has reported their strongest quarter ever. LCA has a new utility rebate course on their Education Express program. Energy Star has named their program winners, their partner program award winners, which include providers, utilities, and manufacturers, some lighting relevant folks on that list, to be sure. And Emerson is leaving Russia once they figure out how to leave Russia. Uh, they, they don't have a plan on how to divest themselves of their local business, but they will. They just want you to know that. They want us to all know that. A federal judge had judge has rescinded uh, Cree versus Rab's remedial orders as part of a sell- settlement. In events, uh, Lightfair has announced their participants in their second mentorship program. The IES and Pacific Northwest National Labs will be working on a five-part webinar running on the Thursdays, starting on the 26th, and will run on once a month for the next five months, uh, talking about taming complexity. The Arclight Summit has named their speakers for their September event. I hear Nailed's going to be there too. And on May 31st, we have a webinar on a view of good and sustainable lighting. That's a panel discussion put on by LEDs Magazine and their sponsors. Uh, IoT News shows that Johnson has bought Asset, Daintree, Ico, and Digital Lumens are now partnering with IOXT to certify their controls. And Synapse has joined the Jaga Consortium. In rep agencies, uh, Leviton has partnered with BDA in Ottawa. H.E. Williams has picked Landa for Southwest Ontario. And Spectrum will rep for landscape forms in and around Austin. In recommended reading, all these articles on Nail.org. We have a discussion of beacon lighting, staying ahead of debt. We have the supply chain reconciling with sustainability. Dana Bradley interviewed. Yes, turning things off does save you power. They asked an electrician just to be sure. Uh, we have an event recap from Meet. That's a electrical engineering meetup in the Maritimes of Canada. We have an event recap from ELS. We have an interview with Colleen Harper from the IES. And, sorry, I caught Colleen Harper's from the DLC. And we have lighting to support student sleep. And market projections, structured cabling will gain by 7%. And smart cities will expand by 24%. That's the market, not actually the cities. The, those will sprawl at a different rate. I don't know that rate. In R&D, lighting controls have been added to anti-delirium treatment recommendations in ICUs by the University of Gdansk. We have a new treatment for myopia in the form of 480 
nanometer lamps that you wear on your face. Uh, in Dark Sky News, the IES has released TM37, a new calculation for Sky Glow. We have a discussion of darker nights being better for cardio and metabolic health. Night sheet shift work and nighttime eating spike your insulin and mess with your leptin levels. Chatham Kent, Ontario will continue to enforce their greenhouse lighting by law they passed uh, on the short term earlier this year. Audubon is helping cities network their lights out programs, hopefully in time for the fall. Eyes may not be as sensitive to light as they age, but their melanopic response stays the same, which is fun. Uh, the University of Torun has created a automatic light pollution measurement tool. Darker Dusk and Dom might actually help p with pedestrian safety. And we have a new white paper on non-white LEDs, i.e. the amber kind, I assume, on uh, dark as a dark sky tool. And Wanganingen use un Greenhouse has gone fully LED. U Florida has grown uh, thale crests in moon soil from the Apollo missions. And Cubic Farm has cut energy use by more than half. And People News, Rhonda Cox is the regional sales manager at Eglo. Sesco has hired Laura Grayson as a specifier. Toodle, Turtle and Hughes is promoted too. In local news, Milwaukee street lighting improvements are still behind schedule. Montgomery County officials are demanding more conversions from the utility. Macon, Georgia alleyways are getting brand new lighting. Brenham, Texas has been struck by the purple lamp plague, which is, I think, the furthest south that's happened. A Maine man is paying $300 a month to grow flowers indoors. In Washington, D.C., we have a $3 million smart lighting pl project planned. Detroit schools are getting $700,000 for upgrades. 100 NYPD buildings will be going LED this year. Citrus County, Florida is demanding that the state pay for lighting on Highway 19. And loose wires in a Detroit suburb are turning one street into a disco. In things you can build, we have a solar lamp from Old Bottles. Where you can also grill, grow, not grill, grow silver nano prisms. And the Austin Wildflower Center is planning a light show with 28,000 glowing spheres in September. Until next time, I've been Scott Walker. Enjoy your week. Enjoy the music. Thank you to Nailed. Thank you to our sponsors. Good day. You smile from your toes up. I see you every day. As you raise your coffee cup I don't know your name We're just people passing by On our way to somewhere If I have the nerve to ask Would you meet you help me find my way and are you more surprised at that idea
drinking too much coffee I can't get any sleep I feel like I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting For a chance to hear you speak You got that twinkle in your eyes find my way And are you more surprised at that idea than me Here at Cafe Fantasy Madura. 